Ah, uh, Spider-Man. He's probably one of the most recognized characters in the history of comics. He's practically a pop culture icon. And if people don't know who he is, they at least recognize him. I think a lot of people actually know him from the movies, whether it was the original trilogy or the Amazing Spider-Man movies. Um, but these depictions haven't always been true to the character. So let's take a look at a little backstory. Spider-Man made his first appearance in comics in Amazing Fantasy number 15 in August of 1962. He was created by writer Stan Lee and artist Steve Ditko. There was a high demand for comics from teenagers at the time, so Lee wanted to create a character that they could relate to. That's what made Spider-Man so unique at the time. He was one of the first teenage superheroes. Prior to that, teens wouldn't be much more than sidekicks, and so it was a refreshing take on, on the superhero concept. That was the most appealing thing about Spider-Man. He's a kid, so his everyday problem is just as important as his superhero activity. So whether it was getting his homework done or dealing with bullies, he had real problems to deal with. So this gave us a mix of like a human story along with superhero antics. That isn't something that's been explored well in the Spider-Man movies though. They'd kind of gloss over the human aspects and go right into the superhero action. And I'm not saying there wasn't any because you could tell that Peter got bullied and he had a lot going on, but it seemed more like a means to an end. It wasn't an integral part of the story like it should be. I'm all for superhero action, and that was definitely the case when I was a kid and first saw these movies. I just think they would have been a lot better had they started when he was a kid, because that's what made Spider-Man, you know, Spider-Man. The human elements of the movie seem to focus on a love story. That's not necessarily a bad thing, because Spider-Man has always had love interests. It's just that they didn't come until later down the line. He was just a kid trying to balance his daily life with his superhero life. So had they started these movies when he was a kid, we could have watched him grow, mature, and develop a relationship with the main love interest as opposed to having one in the first movie and having it be the, the focal point of the story. That was the past. Now we're looking towards the future. For those that aren't aware, the previous Spider-Man movies were produced by Sony, and as of early last year, they struck a deal with Marvel to share the character. So they're going to reboot the franchise. The new Spider-Man actually made his first appearance in the Captain America movie Civil War, where he was played by a young actor named Tom Holland. And he was played flawlessly. It was, like he was, it was like he was two completely different characters. He was shy and reserved as Peter, but full of confidence and quippy as Spider-Man. And that's who he is. It's a very simple formula, and they managed to get it right. Spider-Man Homecoming is going to be a new Spider-Man movie released next year. It's going to be distributed by Sony, but produced by Marvel. So for those that are tired of seeing reboots, you won't have to worry because this one's going to be done right. Marvel does a great job of sticking to the source material, and lately they've been incorporating subgenres to the movies, so it's not just action with superpowers anymore. This new Spider-Man movie is going to draw inspiration from John Hughes films, and for those that don't know, John Hughes directed movies like The Breakfast Club and Ferris Bueller's Day Off, so it's going to have this team comedy kind of vibe, which is perfect for the character, and it also separated it from the previous movies because it would be something completely different. I'm excited to see where Spider-Man goes from here. He's going to be a lot younger in the new movies, which means to watch him grow and mature just like the comics. Spider-Man's a character with a lot of rich history, and that seems to be the basis of this new franchise. The future looks pretty bright for the web slinger. Spider-Man, Spider-Man, does whatever a spider can. Spins a web any size, catches thieves just like flies. Look out, here comes the Spider-Man.